Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I'm going to install a rear boss diffuser on a 2013 Mustang. So, I'm going to work from behind today. That's the way I like it. And the first thing I gotta do here is you take off these, this clip here. There you go. Next thing is is a push rivet type over here. You can either get a flat little small screwdriver or I got one of these, a trim tool. Just go in here and pop that out. <laughs> Use a little bit of force there. That's what that looks like. All right, now I'm going to take off this side of the bumper, the left side. All right, now that you got the the push rivet and the twist off thing out on both sides, you just give this a quick firm pull out. Take it out. Hold this up. It just pops out like that. There's, there's pins that go through here, there's plastic pins. So now take, there's a clip in here. So you just push this down and you pull it out. Take this whole piece out. All right, now you have three nuts you gotta remove. These are seven sixteenths. There's one here, and there's two in there. One there, and one on top. So you need a deep socket. And I'm using a quarter inch drive over here. It's one. Two. And three. Now you can push the tail light out. Now you gotta remove this wire connector. Alright, for the tail light now, you gotta pop this tab up and pull out. So you pop it up like that and you pull out. Tail light comes out. And now this side, pull it. You pull the tab out, you pop out the connector. And that's the other tail light. All right, now over here, you gotta take this electric connector off and take this tab off the body. So you insert your panel removal tool in there. You pop that out. And over here, you can see a little tab here. You push this down and you pop that out. Next step is you have three screws here. Take those off. Now I'm using one of these because I'm too lazy to take the wheel off. And I'm going to go ahead and take those off now. Alright, now I threaded them all out, so I just got to take out the screws. Got one, two, and three. And there's a little clip here, so you got to pick this up and move it towards the inside of the car. And it'll come right out like that. That's the clip, and it goes right there. Alright, now right here by the buffalo 
just pop out these plastic rivets. You get your trim tool here and just pop it out like that. And it comes out like that. And that's it. And I now take off the other side. These two over here. Same procedure. All right, now underneath the bumper, you have two of these tabs here, one on each side, and same procedure here. You pop out the plastic rivet, then you pop out the actual piece, and the same thing on the other side. All right, now over here, you gotta use a trim tool. These are a little tricky and they break easily. The good thing the kit has two new ones, so I really don't care too much about it. And let's see how these come out. Oh, there you go, and it broke. <laughs> like I said, the kit comes with new ones, so I really don't care. That's it. Now you're ready to take the bumper off. You just grab the bumper from here and you give it a quick pull like that. Make sure everything pops out. You get little tabs over here. Now over here. There's a tab that goes in here, so you just gotta push this down and out. Right there, that cleared. Do the same thing on the other side. Here, as you're pulling with one hand here, push this tab down that way, and it'll pop out like that. Now you ready to take the whole bumper off? All right. Now, be careful here. You have this wiring harness. When you take the bumper out, it should slide out through the metal frame. You just grab it up here. This this uh, clips up here, and just push it out. down and this should come right out too. You gotta push this out and now you can take the whole bumper off. Alright the first thing you gotta do is you gotta take this plastic trim piece off. So let me show you how to do that. Over here, you could take your trim panel uh, removal tool or a little flathead and just put it in there and push this out. So you just push that in. Same thing on this side. So as you're pushing the tab in, you gotta push the tabs down. See how it just pops down? And that's it. This whole piece comes out like that. All 
All right, now you gotta cut over here. Now the good thing about this is there are, there's already lines in here for where for, to you know where where to make the cut. As you can see here, there's a line going down, all the way down. So I'm gonna cut all along that, and that line goes all the way down. Now over here also, you see one tab right here. You gotta cut that out. There's another tab here, you gotta cut that out along the line. So the good thing about this is, there's lines already here. And over here, when you cut all the way up to here, I'm just gonna cut this flush straight with this over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this now. Alright, now these slots over here, I'm going to use a drill bit, this is 3 16 so I'm going to go ahead and drill that open. So that's that slot. Now I'm do the rest just like that and I might just file it a little bit to straighten it out. Alright so I did, I drilled this whole tool on the other side and I filed it down a little bit so it's nice and straight. This one I'm, I'm going to use an eighth inch drill bit here and do the same thing. Yeah, baby, I tore that hole right up. That's what you want. All right, now we're trying to test fit the diffuser. We just put it on the bumper. And as you can see here, we're a little bit away here from the hole. You don't want to be away from the hole. I'm going to be close as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a line here. I'm going to scribe a mark. And I'm going to cut that right off so that I can move up where it's supposed to be. So that's the line. I'm going to trim that down. I'm going to test fit it again. Now as you can see that we cut this off, it lines right up. So we can do the same thing on the other side. All right, now you put the rear diffuser in place. I'll show you on this side what it looks like. These tabs are gonna go in here. And also we got tabs over there where we made the four holes on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in now. So you see that? It's coming out. You wanna hear these things clip into place. You hear that click? You know you're good. You're in the hole. Then push these through the tabs over here. And you might have to trim these tabs a little bit more. But you'll see when you pop it in. And 
and that's it. And that's ready to be installed in the car. And make sure these, like I said, these line up the holes over here. All right, next up is to give you two of these clips. And these go on the actual bumper itself. And this piece goes on the inside. And then you just align that. You align the holes just like that when you're putting it back in. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, now you have six clips. And these go where these tabs are. You can see they're empty in the middle. There's a hole. There you go. So you just slide them in from the bottom. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest now. So this is how everything goes. Clips wise. And if they're hard to go in, have, just push in from the outside so the tabs come out a little more. And you, just, you could use the uh, new most pliers to persuade them in. Alright, now I'm just going to put a little bit of painter's tape here. So when we put the bumper back on, we're, gonna, we're not going to scratch the car. Go ahead and do that. Alright, now you just take the whole bumper, put it back on. Be careful. Align these tabs here with the holes over here. See these? Now before you do that, slide the harness, the wiring harness, through the car. Make sure you put the grommet also through here. Make sure it seals right there. You want that to seal. Now you can go ahead and pop this bad boy in. Make sure nothing is in the way anywhere. You just push this in. And over here, now you can take this tape off. Alright, so you got these plastic tabs up here. You have to push up that way so it could engage in the tabs in the inside, just like that. And go all along over here and do the same thing. And make sure this plastic piece is on the outside over here, like that, and just pop everything right in, like that. Do the same thing on the other side. All right, now put the tail lights in. Same as reverse, it's, it's a reverse of uh, removal. So you pop that in and you see these three, you'll line them with the holes on the inside over here. There you go, just gotta finagle it in. And you put these. 7 sixteenths and you tighten them all down. Now this harness here now you can pull it from inside this hole over here and you pop this inside this hole and you take this clip and just clip it in there and now you put the cover back on. Alright now put the back cover in and before you do that, don't forget to clip the light back in. And over here, you got clips, they're gonna go in here. So you put those in first. 
just like that. And put this down. That now you can put these. These go on top. Onto the tail light. Studs. Now, when you're taking these off, put pressure outwards and start screwing it out and it should pop out. Then you put the plastic rivets in. Do the same thing on the other side. Plastic rivet. And you're done back here. Now you clip this bad boy in here. You see a clip here, it just goes between the sheet metal here and align the holes. Just like that. Put the three screws back. All right, now a little quick tip here. When you're putting the bumper in, make sure this is in the bottom so it'll go in much smoother. You just put the push rivets in here. And do the same thing on the other side. All right, now you just put the screw in here. And do the same on the other side. And that is a Nine thirty seconds. Tap a bolt. All right, now you get these two new clips. These are the ones that we broke before. You can break them; it's not a problem. These slide in here, like so. The pointy nose goes on the inside. Oops. The pointy piece goes on the inside Hold on. Just gonna... the, the pointy piece goes on the inside facing inward so you just slide these in like that and these go in the hose And those are good. And right, now you put these tabs in over here. Just push them away. The There's a hole over there on the sheet metal, and you put the plastic rivets in. And that's it. And just to the other side. And that completes the rear diffuser installation on this 2013 Mustang. It's right there. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. You know you want to. Also, like me, share me, do whatever the hell you want to me down there. I'm free game.